Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad and I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today we conclude our look at Paul's letter to the Colossians and we get to talk about my favorite comic strip of all time, The Far Side. So let's get to it. Keep on praying and guard your prayers with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us also. Pray that God would open a door for the word so we can preach the secret plan of Christ, which is why I'm in chains. Pray that I might be able to make it as clear as I ought to when I preach. Act wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. Your speech should always be gracious and sprinkled with insight so that you may know how to respond to every person. Now, how many of you are familiar with The Far Side? The Far Side is a single panel comic created by Gary Larson, and it ran for 25 years. And it was ultimately carried by more than 1900 daily newspapers. And it was translated into 17 languages, and it was collected into calendars, greeting cards, 23 compilation books, and reruns are still being carried in many newspapers today. So now why am I bringing this up? Because I want to show you my favorite far side piece ever. Now you ready? Here it is. Okay, I'm going to give you a few more seconds to see if you can spot the joke. You got it, trying to push the pool door. You know, sometimes we make it so hard to open doors. How many of us have pushed when we should have pulled or pulled when we should have pushed? Doors should not be that hard, but they can be. And not just the doors that get us in and out of our houses, our cars, and our churches. There are also the doors of our hearts. Many of us find it very hard to leave our hearts unlocked. We have been hurt before. We have been scarred by people who have done us wrong and broken our hearts and our dreams. And each time something bad happens, we put another lock on our hearts. But when we want to lock away our hearts, here comes God knocking. God wants into our hearts. God wants into our lives. And when we open our hearts to God, our lives are better. Our lives become all about serving others and loving others and helping others who also have locks on their hearts. Because God knows what it's like to have a broken heart. Do you think it was easy for God the Father to see what we have done to his creation? Do you think it was easy for God to watch his only son die for us? It wasn't easy. So God knows a thing or two about hurt, but God is also all-knowing when it comes to grace. And God is the ultimate locksmith because God has the perfect key to our hearts, and that key is Jesus Christ. It is through Jesus that we have new life, guaranteed life, grace, love, and forgiveness, and the courage is given to us to open our hearts so others can come in. We can stop pushing on the pulled doors. We can stop putting locks on our hearts. Stop and let God push away your hurt and let God unlock your heart. And that will do it for me this week. Thank you for listening. I will see you next week for another edition of God's Minute. You take care, have a good weekend, and God bless.